Oh shit! Layla, you need a refill on Cyclosporin. Stat. Modern day stuff? Layla? Layla! What? What is happening? Layla? Oh my god. Layla! <laughs> Come on back. Who the fuck's this Layla, person? Told you not to call me that. The thing is, the fastest way to get your attention is to piss you off. I'm paying attention. Okay, you need to take a break. The animus is rejecting you. Oh, I'm fine. Yes, but your kidneys aren't. Go add more cyclosporin before they shut down. Yes, Nurse Geary. That's medical officer Geary to you. So? How did it go? My mods are holding. Subject's memories are perfectly clear. Apart from the frame rate. <laughs> if this doesn't convince up to give me a place on the Animus Project, nothing will. Oh, amazing! Who do you have in there? His name is Bayek of Siwa. The death of his son turned him into a killer. Think you'd be of interest, Abstergo? Don't start. You know, they're not going to be happy with how he handled this assignment. They know I don't work by the book. Well, this time you lit the book on fire and then stomped on it. Anyway, none of this will matter if you're comatose. Now go get that cyclosporin. But where's Rebecca and Sean? Last of the Medjay. Medjay. 20, 20 Uplay points. Where's Sean and Rebecca? I demand to know where Sean and Rebecca are. Still looking for the cyclosporin? I definitely packed it in the med kit. So I'm in some Egyptian ruins right now. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. Who are you talking to? My, myself. My ex mummy. <laughs> Real chatterbox, that one. Wow. Oh, you stuck. You stuck, are we? On nothing. On literally nothing. I don't know if I can deal with this. <laughs> I don't know if I can go from a game like Wolfenstein 2 to this. It's like, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I'm rejecting it. Like, her, like she's rejecting the Animus. I'm rejecting Assassin's Creed. <laughs> It's there. Got the cyclosporin. Two CC should do it. Don't go back in yet. Don't go back in yet. I want to explore. I wish I was there to help. You do a good job looking after me, even from the hotel. And I know how you like your aircon. What's this? One bar. Half a bar. Half a bar. What's this? Uh, who am I? Am I the good guys or the bad guys right now? What the fuck is this? And who is that? What band is that? Oh god, what is going on? Fucking hell, what is this nonsense? Oh my god. Jesus. Oh, you can fucking read this. Jesus, I'm not reading this. Naff off. Naff off, son. Wow. Hmm. There's the, uh, the first game. Where the first game took place. I'll skim through them. I'm not reading them. Portable animus. Intro. What's this? Oh my god, what is this? The Gone Files. Desmond Miles. Holy shit. Subject 17. Yep, I remember seeing this in Black Flag, I think, on the terminals. That this was this was on Black Flag on the computers, other people's computers. 
when you hacked into them. Alan Ricken, who the hell's that? Gas leak shuts down West End London District. Isabel Ardent. The total video we have amounts to barely 2.7 seconds at 60 FPS! Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> I'd love it if I could have 60 frames per second. That would be lovely. Oh my god. Olivia Garnua. Is that me? Is that me? Is that who I'm playing as right now? Oh my god. That's fucking watchdogs! That's fucking watchdogs! <laughs> wow. That's definitely watchdogs one. Not the second one. I haven't played the second one yet. I will do eventually though. It worked. Side effects suck, but my portable animus is up and running. And oh my god, look how many there this is ridiculous. Why is there always a coffee stain on stuff? It makes no sense. Unlock the secrets of our past. Can I get in an animus that puts me in the shoes of BJ Blaskowitz? <laughs> Oh wow. Oh that's the um the movie stuff, isn't it? I haven't seen the movie, but that looks like some stuff from the trailers of the movie where the animus is like you're in a big room and you're moving around this huge room with like a something attached to your back that lets you move and do all the crazy stuff. Huh. Field briefing. Right, what's this? Mail. Oh, Jesus. 2014. So what What year are we in? We're in 2017, yeah. The last one was 21st of October. So it's up to date in terms of our time. Pictures. I'll look at pictures. I've got no problem looking at pictures. New York City, 1989. New York City, 1994. New York City 2000. Oh, was she part of a band? Uh, Berkeley CA 2004. I don't know what that is. Best use of Berkeley's dorm. Philadelphia 2011. Philadelphia 2017. Philadelphia 2017. Audio? I'll listen to audio. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not this much, though. So long, <laughs> and thanks for all the fish, Berkeley. March 21st, 2006. The day Layla Hassan drops out of college. That's right, Professor Moore. I'm not finishing that Jane Eyre paper. I got a job, and I'm headed to Philly next week. This whole classroom thing, it's not for me. Mom and Dad are freaking out, but they'll accept it. I'll be working towards something real, making real money, and I'll be closer to home. Not that I'll visit any more often. Sophia promised there would always be a place for me at Observo, as long as I show them what I can do with a circuit board and a pair of pliers. Sure, I'll have to work my way up to a place on her special project, but that doesn't matter. It won't be long before she or her father, Mr. Alan Ricken, notices what I'm capable of and asks my help on the Animus. That was 2006. Holy shit. I swear, I get more done reading the latest copy of Wired on the toilet than the rest of the guys do all day in the lab.
lab. I mean, the body band? Really? If people can't take a walk on their own, they aren't going to listen to a watch that tells them to do it either. This is all so pointless. I should just go back to... Wait. That's probably what the body band would tell me to do. What I should do is build something that will simultaneously blow people's minds and the doors off the Animus Project. Nothing at Absurgo Fitness is going to be big enough for that. I'm bored as hell. But there's nothing like boredom to stimulate creativity. Yep. I think the body band needs a little adjustment to its language processing program. Wow, the audio waves are not in sync with her talking at all. <laughs> they didn't even bother. The right decision always feels like home. My stuff's the same. My locker smells the same. It's like I never left. But I did. And I can never unlearn what I know now. How will it change my work at the Historical Research Division? Hard to say. All I know is that it will. Our dog booked us a lunch. Nothing fancy. She wanted me to meet Deanna Geary, my new medical officer. She looks like she was born in the middle of a cornfield, but she seems okay. I can't believe she left homemade cookies on my desk. I don't know why I told her about getting stood up last weekend. I never talk about personal stuff at work. At least it seems like I can trust her. You need that to stay alive in the field. Too bad most of Abstergo's tactical units don't consider trust a priority. Trick or treat. Oh dear. <laughs> ah -ho, the portable animus no mention in the official credits but all those emails all those middle of the night phone calls from madrid there's a lot of me in there sophia if i'd known you just wanted to strip mine my brain and leave me in the dark i never would have followed you go away there's no candy here <laughs> nothing in life is ever free ever the animus. I can tell. I know it wouldn't have worked without my advice. Just look how they did the heat sink, the VRMs, the high amperage rating by transistor. It was me who told them it would offset failure of the... What's this? Hello there, DNA reader module. Are you ringing my doorbell? Maybe there's some candy here after all. Wow, okay. Under the hood. I've come to the conclusion that Sophia is shit at hiring staff. The entire Madrid facility. Ugh. How do they not see it? It would be so easy. You just have to parse the genetic memory input and work from smaller data pools. You could even process incomplete samples and still create a reliable model for high levels of synchronization. The reader module and the decryption software would need an update, but it's doable. Madrid's probably congratulating themselves just for getting this far. Meanwhile, I'm partying with some congealed veggie curry, three plasma screens, a disassembled animus, and Raw Victoria's debut album on loop. Sahetic. Dee will be mad when she sees how I use Milton's DNA, but what did she expect when she asked me for help? I needed someone's genetic profile to test the animus, and, well, his was right there. All in the name of science. I have no idea what she's talking about at all. <laughs> I like morning briefings. They're short, minimal nonsense, and they have free coffee. No downtime this week. They're putting me and Dee on a plane to Alexandria two days from now. I don't get why Hathaway's in such a rush. We're being deployed to extract an artifact. If it were a person of interest, the push would make more sense. A person could be halfway across the world in a couple of hours. But an artifact that's been sitting around for 2,000 years, it's not going anywhere. An artifact of high interest. Heard that before. It always ends up being some crappy pottery shard or half an old book. My animus runs on DNA, not tableware. It'll be strange visiting Egypt for the first time since 2013. Back then I went looking for my roots and found trouble instead. It's good that Dee's coming. She always keeps me from doing anything too stupid. Found the mother load. Turns out, the artifact of high interest is also a person of interest. A mummy. And a golden opportunity. I've informed Dee of some changes I'm making to our assignment parameters. She acted mad, but I know she's eager to see my animus field tested. Abstergo won't mind. 
Well, they would if they found out, but they won't. <laughs> Hathaway's intel was a disaster. They have no idea what's going on with this extraction. Field tech is fun and all, but that's not why I left Berkeley. If the Animus lets me ride DNA this old, if the reader can model the missing codons and extrapolate the genetic memories that aren't mine, Sophia would lose her Abstergo. Abstergo will come to me on their hands and knees. My name will be right up there with Warren Vidix. Anamitakidaminda. Too bad the Madrid facility got blown up. But I bet they'll build a new one soon. This one will be in Philly. And its lead engineer will be Leila Hassan. Okay, that's all the audio. W E R, what does that mean? Oh, the God, now what? What is this? I don't know what this is. Crystal balls do exist. <laughs> Right. That's it. We've looked at... Well, we've skimmed for it all. You can't keep introdu introducing... The, the, can't speak. Introducing new fucking characters from the modern world and expect me to give a shit about them. I want Rebecca and Sean. Where is Rebecca and Sean? Can she climb? Where, what, what is going on here? So we're in Alexandra. Alexander. Can she climb? Is she an assassin? Are we even playing an Assassin's Creed game anymore? I don't think we are. Oh. Huh. It's uncharted. How far can I go? Can I just walk forever? You would think this was Uncharted now, if you didn't know what game I was playing. You'd be like, oh, you're playing Uncharted. Uncharted 3. That bit where you walk through the, the desert. But you're a girl. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> just <laughs> into a fucking invisible wall. <laughs> oh, God, fucking hell, Jesus. <laughs> Brilliant. 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 Very good. Very good. Very good. There's nothing to interact with here. Guess we'll go back. Guess we'll go back in. The bloody eagle has more personality than any of the fucking characters so far in this game. Oh, what's this? Damn it, my papers went everywhere. <laughs> Oops, anything important? Yeah, the notes on the animus. Okay, it just disappeared and reappeared. Here's the blueprint from my Dallas system mod. Could have used a bigger fluid chamber. Could have used a bigger piece of tape over your mouth. Whoa, so aggro. <laughs> wow, okay. Right, you can do the same thing over and over again. Am I looking for the papers? A little genetic something I like to call a genetic sequencer. Never got the creases out. Okay, I'm finding these now, I guess. Fun. Hello? Haven't you got a flashlight or anything? No? It's 2017, for fuck's sake. You could have a flashlight on you. It's not that difficult. Oh, something up there. Can she climb? No. So how the hell do I get up there? If she can't climb. Why can't she climb? Why is she useless? <laughs> Where are the modern day assassins? God damn it. She can't climb. 
She's useless. She's fucking rubbish. She can't even climb. But she can fall, but she can't climb. Right. And I can go into stealth mode. I don't know why I need to. Maybe there's a combat sequence here at some point. I don't know. Oh, there's more here. Oh, found my notes on the gene sequencing code. Right. Are you ever going to tell Milton that you tested it with his DNA? No, and neither are you. There's more than one way to donate your body to science. Can I go up there? It looks like there's something kind of cool up there, but no. You know, you've got this thing called pulling, pushing yourself up on a fucking platform. Nope, not going to do that. Why would you do that? Why would you even bother? Why would you even bother? Game's running fine now. <laughs> now that we're in a fucking cave. I don't know how to get that other, other paper. Oh. Okay. But, but she won't... But what? Really? No, I was so close. <laughs> that can't be how they want you to do it. Surely, surely not. Be ridiculous. No. Why? I just want it. It's right fucking there. You're teasing me. It's even got a little icon on it to say pick it up. But I can't because she's useless and she can't climb. Oh, God. I actually really like the um, first person walk around bits in Black Flag and Rogue. I like them a lot. I'm going to try this one more time. I don't know why I'm even trying it again. Break through it. <laughs> Just break through it. Oh, you can do it. Layla! You can do it, Layla! I believe in you, Layla! Come on, Layla. No, you can't. I don't believe in you anymore. Fuck you. Uh, unbelievable. Interact. No, that's the same thing. Brilliant. Wow. In-flight entertainment. Ooh. Egyptian mysteries. Connections with gods or aliens. Or maybe just a precursor race. That precursor people aren't aliens, they're just... Humans from another time, basically. Are we going down there at any point? I wonder I wonder if we will. I think we're gonna go back into the animus now. Was there something here? No. Going back into the animus, it's beeping at us. We should go back into it. <laughs> 